satellites power modern life, enabling GPS, global communications, and more. But what happens when they run out of fuel or malfunction? Until now, the answer was costly replacements or leaving them as debris. The Shijin 25 mission, the first major space event of 2025, is here to change that. Launched on January 6th, this groundbreaking mission tests on orbit refueling and life extension technologies that could revolutionize space operations, making them more sustainable and cost-effective. How does it work? Why does it matter? And what does this mean for the future of exploration? Let's dive into this transformative leap in satellite technology. On January 6, 2025, China made history by launching the Shijian 25 satellite, the first major space mission of the year, aboard the Long March 3rd B rocket. Shijian 25 entered Geostationary Transfer Orbit GTO, where it began its groundbreaking mission to test on orbit refueling and life extension technologies. These technologies have the potential to redefine the way satellites operate, making space missions more cost-effective, efficient, and sustainable. Traditionally, satellites are limited by their onboard fuel. Once the fuel is depleted, even if all other systems remain functional, the satellite becomes unusable. Operators face two options, replace it with a costly new satellite or abandon it as space debris. With the Shijin 25 mission, China is tackling this issue head-on by exploring how satellites can be refueled and maintained directly in orbit. By successfully testing these technologies, the mission could pave the way for satellites to operate for decades, significantly reducing costs and debris accumulation. The Shijian 25 satellite was developed by the Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology SAST, a subsidiary of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC. The Long March 3rd Billion rocket, which carried the satellite, is one of China's most reliable workhorses for GTO missions, known for its precision and high success rate. This launch was the 102nd flight of the Long March 3rd series, further cementing its status as a dependable choice for complex missions. What sets Shijian 25 apart is its focus on active satellite servicing. Unlike previous missions like the Shijian 21, which focused on space debris mitigation by relocating defunct satellites to graveyard orbits, Shijian 25 is designed to keep satellites functional. This includes replenishing fuel, repairing damaged components, and potentially upgrading onboard systems. While no specific satellite was named as the target for these tests, the mission signals China's growing expertise in advanced orbital operations. The implications are vast. If successful, the Shijin 25 mission will not only save billions in satellite replacement costs, but also contribute to a cleaner, more sustainable orbital environment. This achievement could set new standards for space operations and reinforce China's position as a leader in innovative space technology. The Shijin 25 mission isn't just a technological breakthrough, it's also a strategic move with far-reaching implications for the global space race. On-orbit refueling and life extension technologies are at the forefront of a growing competition among nations to master satellite servicing. While these innovations promise significant civilian benefits, their potential military applications have garnered attention and concern worldwide. To understand the importance of these technologies, it's crucial to consider their dual-use nature. On one hand, refueling and maintaining satellites can extend the lifespan of civilian satellites used for communications, navigation, and Earth observation. On the other hand, the same technologies could be adapted for military purposes, such as servicing reconnaissance satellites or even disabling adversary satellites in times of conflict. This dual-use capability makes missions like Shijian 25 a subject of intense scrutiny. China's advancements in this field position it as a leader in space innovation. Similar projects are underway in other countries, including the United States, where Northrop Grumman is developing its mission robotic vehicle MRV, scheduled for launch in 2026. However, Shijin 25 gives China a strategic advantage by demonstrating these capabilities first. This head start could shape the future of space operations, influencing international policies and partnerships. The mission also highlights the growing emphasis on space sustainability. With over 8,000 active satellites currently in orbit and thousands more planned for deployment, space debris is becoming a critical issue. 
Xijin 25 offers a solution by ensuring satellites remain operational for longer periods, reducing the need for replacements and minimizing waste. This aligns with global efforts to promote sustainable practices in space exploration. However, with great innovation comes great responsibility. As more nations develop similar capabilities, the potential for misuse increases. For example, technologies designed for peaceful purposes could be weaponized, leading to new challenges in space governance. In international cooperation and transparency will be essential to ensure these advancements are used responsibly. The Shijin-25 mission has implications that extend far beyond its immediate objectives. If successful, this mission could revolutionize the global space industry, transforming how satellites are designed, launched, and maintained. But what does this mean for the future of space exploration and the everyday technologies we rely on? One of the most significant benefits of on-orbit servicing is its potential to reduce costs. Launching a new satellite can cost hundreds of millions of dollars, not to mention the resources required for its development and testing. By enabling satellites to be refueled and maintained in orbit, operators can extend their lifespan, delaying the need for replacements. This cost-saving measure could make space-based technologies like satellite internet, weather forecasting, and GPS more accessible and affordable to a global audience. Moreover, the mission represents a shift toward sustainability in space operations. The accumulation of space debris is a growing concern, with defunct satellites and fragments from past collisions posing risks to active satellites and future missions. Shijin-25 offers a proactive solution by ensuring satellites can remain functional for longer periods, reducing the likelihood of abandonment and debris generation. This approach aligns with international calls for responsible space exploration and management. China's ambitious space program is also a key factor in this mission. Shijin-25 is just one of many milestones planned for 2025, including crewed missions to the Tiangong Space Station and the Tianwen-2 Asteroid Sample Return Mission. Together, these projects highlight China's commitment to becoming a global leader in space exploration and innovation. By investing in advanced technologies like on-orbit servicing, China is not just participating in the space race, it's shaping its future. For the average person, the success of the Shijian 25 mission could mean more reliable and efficient satellite services. Imagine faster internet speeds, improved navigation systems, and more accurate weather predictions, all made possible by satellites that can operate for decades instead of years. These advancements could transform industries ranging from telecommunications to agriculture, creating new opportunities and improving quality of life worldwide. In the long term, missions like Shijian 25 could serve as stepping stones for even more ambitious goals, such as building refueling stations for interplanetary spacecraft or enabling large-scale space construction projects. The Shijian 25 mission represents a bold leap toward a more sustainable and efficient future in space. By testing on orbit refueling and life extension technologies, it has the potential to transform how we think about satellite operations, reducing costs and environmental impact while enhancing global connectivity. As China takes the lead in this critical area, the world is watching closely, recognizing the profound implications for space exploration and beyond. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.